Hey there folks, Jay Barino here, welcome back. We're heading back to Life of a Marine. It's a custom campaign for StarCraft 1. This is a set of prequel missions called Life of Marine Boot Camp that take place before the initial seven missions. All right, let's check it out. A Sons of Korhal rescue leads one man to discover his destiny. Evac. And it looks like the briefing screen is again not used. I think that's cool. Everything, all the story is told in the maps themselves. By Edict of the Colonial Magistrate, all Marsar civilian and military personnel are to evacuate the planet immediately. Please report to the nearest dropship for immediate evacuation. I repeat, all civilian and military personnel are to evacuate the colony at once. Well, there's Jack. And this is Mission 3 from the original Terran campaign. That's cool. What the hell's going on? I thought the Confederates left us to bleed. They did, kid, but not all forces in the universe have as little compassion as General Duke. My name's Vertigo, and I'm with the Sons of Korhal. We're here to get you out of here. Hey, Vertigo. Nice nice to stop and chit-chat with the local wildlife, but if you haven't noticed, there's a buttload of creepy crawlies heading our direction. And the dropships aren't waiting behind to get dragged down by claws and tentacles. Here, mister, grab a gun. I don't know how to use one of these. Safety's that switch on the side. You point and shoot. Preferably at the alien scum, but hey, if there's someone that's been annoying you for a really long time, I guess now's a good time as any. Come on, Vertigo. All right, we need to make it across camp to get to the dropships. Come on, uh, didn't catch your name. Jack Sherrill. Whoa, this is cool. All right, get Sherrill, Skillin, and Vertigo to the dropships alive. Sherrill's not a skilled fighter. Be careful about using him. So Skillin, Craig Skillin, and Vertigo were part of the Sons of Korhal at this point. It's possible Vertigo is already infested at this point because the Confederacy infested him. Jack Sherrill is a normal Marine here. He's not a hero marine. Whoa, that's neat. Let's get let's get down to the dropships. I assume that there's more to this mission, right? This is our tourist manx to all remaining sons of Korhal. Our dropships are loaded down, but our reserves are on their way. Your orders are to rendezvous with them northeast of the camp. Unfortunately, you'll have to make your way through the Zerg. <clears throat> Skillin, Vertigo, what the hell took you so long? I was attempting to rescue more civilians, Sergeant. Vert got handed to you. You were very quick and non-conversant in the rescue, almost to the point where I'm being overly sarcastic. Shut your hole, Private. Who's the goon with the gun? We thought it best to arm him. We could use all the firepower we can get. What's your name, kid? Jack Sherrill. Are we going to get the hell out of here or keep talking? Hell yes, we're going to get out of here. Just don't shoot anything human and we won't have a problem. Okay, get all heroes to the rendezvous point alive. So we may have to fight through the Zerg base. All right, so this guy's Sims, right? Jacob Sims? So the very beginning of Life of a Marine has has uh, Vertigo and Cheryl and Craig and uh, Logal talking about how the only reason Jack Cheryl's getting promoted is because Jacob Sims got killed and uh, Jack Cheryl took command of some mission and managed to save, I don't know, to salvage it in some fashion, which I think is really, this is really cool. Okay, this is Life of Marine Colon Boot Camp Zero One. Okay, I don't know why I'm so uh, specific with my saves. I could literally title them anything. I guess it's just to keep them organized because I have so many. All right, let's wait and see if the uh, if the music goes back. If not, we'll turn on the basic music. Nope, it restarted. Okay, let's let's get in there, Craig. Tanking as usual, what a man. Yeah, splash damage. Oh, whoops. <laughs> whoops, I was not paying attention to that at all and I was taking for granted. I mean, it even told, told you at the beginning. Like, hey, look out, he's gonna die. Um, I'm just sort of enamored with this mission. This is really cool. This reminds me of uh, Salvation in the way that it, it goes in tandem with the initial Terran campaign. I think that's very cool. Okay, let's be a little more careful this time. All right, get in there. And Jack Sherrill isn't the one getting hit this time, right? Move on up with everybody. Oh, good old Craig. What a man. What a man, Craig. Okay, we're focusing really hard on getting rid of one sunken colony. And Craig has taken a boatload of damage. We don't have any medics. All right, Craig. Craig, you've done your, you've done your duty. Okay, heroes. Please just, heroes, just lead the way. All right, we have two heroes. Vertigo and Jacob Sims. Is it possible that Vertigo is infested already? If he's with the Sons of Korhal, then that would imply that he's already infested or partially infested, right? Because he was one of the... I mean, he, he was infested as a Confederate ghost. So maybe after that happened, he's like, fuck this place, we, I'm out of here. I assume that's it. I assume that's what happened. Oh my god, Jack Sherrill, why did you do that? 
All right, well, that was my own fault. Let's try one more time, and maybe this time Craig won't get absolutely smoked. All right, attack. Actually, I actually have to be mildly careful here. I'm used to the Life of the Marine missions being particularly easy, and this one is uh, a little more challenging, so let's just cycle our heroes into the sunken colonies as we go. Okay, attack. I'd like to kill the things other than the sunken colonies first, basically. You guys back up. All right, turn and fight. Let's get rid of all the units first. There we go. Now we can focus on the sunken colony. Jacob Sims taking a lot of heat. We gotta, we gotta have him survive this mission so that he can die later. <laughs> I assume that's how this is gonna end, right? It's gotta end with... I mean, because the first mission of Life of a Marine had had uh, Jack Sherrill getting promoted, so that must have happened literally right after Sims dies, which is probably going to be the end of this precursor campaign. Again, really cool. I like the idea of it. Okay, so this time, rather than cycling my heroes and getting my Marines killed because they don't have they don't have U-238 shells, let's just lead with our heroes in the first place. All right. Yes, Craig Skillen. Yes, Craig Skillen, you're the man. We also have Cloak on our two ghosts, so I don't know when we would necessarily need to use that. Looks like we're very close to the end. Pretty minimal pretty minimal fighting through the Zerg. Let's just save now so I don't have to do that again. They're, they're coming up from behind. Just go. What's coming up behind us? A couple Zerglings. I could stim here. <clears throat> I don't think that's necessary. We're losing Marines. As long as Jack Sherrill isn't the one getting hit. Okay, this is going okay. And there's the dropships. Make a run for it, fellas. Okay, good, good, good. And we're surrounded. I can see them. Oh, that was literally it. Wow, that's a very short mission. Well, I'm going to leave those reloads in. I was just thinking about maybe I should just cut those out. But hey, uh, really, <coughs> really cool. I suspect that this was sort of a pilot for a prequel set of missions that, that he was thinking about making. And <coughs> geez, oh man, excuse me, I'm sorry. Just cough. Suddenly gotten worse today. I was doing fine. I just recorded the the epilogue of the, the original set of missions, and now suddenly my cough has gotten worse. So I think that means I'm done for recording for today in general. But hey, very cool. If this is what the if this is what the campaign is looking to shape up as, I'm really excited about it. Really looking forward to it. Assuming that the missions are longer than this, right? I hope they're not all this short. But anything that sort of ties into existing StarCraft lore, especially ones that reference the existing maps and just sort of fit in the timeline is really, really cool. And I've added that little bit of headcanon at the end of the original seven missions where eventually our three heroes uh, end up with Rainer's Raiders, just like just like good old Charlie Vane slash Matt Horner, right? Again, a joke. Don't blame me if someone makes that an actual campaign, okay? <laughs> all right, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, everyone.